guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, back again for some more NHL 17 news. And in today's video, we are going to be breaking down another trailer, this time for Hockey Ultimate Team. From the synergies to the dynamic sets to the trading items and the new item management, as well as all kinds of general packs and the new card designs that we can look forward to for NHL 17, Hockey Ultimate Team brought us a lot of new things to look at. And a lot of new things coming to the mode that have never been seen before in an NHL game. And honestly, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy Hockey Ultimate Team this year without a doubt. It's going to be something that a lot of people are going to have fun playing with this year from beginning to end, I believe, from all the new things that we will be able to do in HUT. Without further ado, guys, let's play the trailer as per usual. Break it down with then some screenshots. We'll go over the blog and we'll take it from there. So here you go, guys. The NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team trailer. Build, collect, compete. With all new Hockey Ultimate Team Synergy and Dynamic Sets, the most played mode in the NHL series just got even deeper in NHL 17. Synergy is an all new team building system that challenges you to pair player strengths across your whole lineup. Players are now linked by playing style and can be placed anywhere in your squad, regardless of position. There are two types of synergies, player synergy and team synergy. Construct your lineup with enough items of a certain type and you'll receive the corresponding attribute bonuses for those players or your team. For example, if you'd like to run and gun, build a team of Speedster and Team Wheel Synergy to activate skating bonuses and open up the ice. On the other hand, if you think defense wins championships, you may strive for the defensively responsible and team shot blocking synergies to lock things down. There's no limit to the amount you can have active, so with 11 player and 7 team synergies to work with, you can truly build a perfect team for your style of play. Also new in NHL 17 is Hockey Ultimate Team Sets, which takes collecting to a whole new level. Trade in items to complete sets, earning collectibles, coins, three packs, and elite items which can give your team the competitive edge on the ice. Every item has value now, so whether they slot into your lineup or not, you'll have a use for them. With Synergy driving the best team building system we've ever featured, and new dynamic sets that update throughout the season, NHL 17 offers the deepest and most engaging Hockey Ultimate Team experience yet. All right, guys, so huge news there. Lots of really cool stuff. But to start things off, we're going to be taking a look at Synergy. Replacing our previous chemistry system, Hockey Ultimate Team is a new all-team, has a new all-new team building system that challenges you to pair your players' strengths across your whole lineup. Players are now linked by playing style and can be placed anywhere in your squad, regardless of position. There are two types of synergies, player synergy and team synergy. So for player synergy, such as Relentless Forecheck will grant a bonus only to players who share this synergy when activated. Activating Relentless Forecheck will require four points and when active will grant a plus three boost to acceleration, endurance, stick checking, and body checking. Points can be attained by collecting player items with specific and synergy traits. And then for team synergy, team synergy such as the one-time one-timer efficiency will grant bonus to all players on the team when activated. Activating one-timer efficiency will acquire eight points, and when active, will grant a plus three boost to hand-eye passing, offensive awareness, and slap shot power. Coach items will grant points to team synergy. So, like I said before, when we reviewed Hut for the first time. Chemistry system is gone. You could put forwards on D, you could put D on forwards. It doesn't really matter, but it's all about the synergies this year. You want to try to get together a grouping of players, not the best players in the game, but you want to try to get together a group of players that will play well together and activate a certain type of synergy that affects your best playing style. So if you want to do a run and gun and if you want to have all the speedy players on your team, you want to grab up those players that will get you those synergies. If you want to make nasty deeks, you want to try to get the dirty danglers. If you want to make nice passing uh, plays, get the passers. Hard shots, you know, uh, good forecheck, good defensive play, um, dump and chase, any of that stuff. You guys will be able to build your own specific little team and hut. And obviously you have a huge effect on how your team will play dependent upon the synergies. Next up is dynamic sets. Our all-new HUT Dynamic Sets mechanic takes collecting to a new level that replicates the biggest real-world hockey moments. Collect and complete Dynamic Sets to unlock rewards, including new and limited-time thematic sets to consistently build and improve your team. Players know, 
Players will no longer receive mini packs for completing collections, but will now earn collectibles, coins, packs, and elite items depending on which set you complete. Every item has value, so whether they slot into your lineup, they'll benefit the long-term growth of your team. Another new Hockey Ultimate Team feature is the addition of Hut Heroes. Once you complete NHL team-themed sets, you will be rewarded with an elite Hockey Ultimate Team Hero player item featuring a retired fan favorite from that specific market. These players are local legends and can only be obtained by completing these sets. We will be releasing the full Hut Hero roster for each NHL team closer to launch. First up, the card designs on these things are absolutely beautiful. I love the action shots on just any kind of card in any type of video game. Action shots are honestly my favorite. Headshots are cool and everything. Like, I really do like the card design. We'll be taking a look at that later at the end of the video. But uh, these Hut heroes are honestly crazy. We have Blake, Linden, and Colsig for Washington, uh, the Canucks, and the LA Kings, respectively. Um, I think we also saw Rittler, or Rittler, or Sittler, not Rittler, Sittler, Shanahan, in the trailer as well, so I'm assuming those guys will be local legends or hot hockey ultimate team heroes or maybe legends as well. But still, this is gonna be a really, really cool feature in Hockey Ultimate Team. Where I guess instead of just collections for each team you complete, I guess if in, in place of the packs that you'll get for the teams that you complete, getting these theme uh theme team themed sets will get you a player from uh, a, a local hut hero for that specific collection. But remember, the guys, the one thing between the that is sets is that once you turn in the set, you lose all the players that you required for the set. So you got to be careful. Was it is it worth it to turn all those players in and get one of these really high overall rated cards, or is it better to just keep your whole entire team? And, you know, maybe work up some coins until you can buy that whole team again, unless there were certain players that you wanted for that set. It's good. The decision is yours, but the design on these cards, absolutely beautiful. Next up, the trading post. Sets in this collection will let you trade in unwanted items, bronze, silver, or gold for upgrades and other collectibles. For example, you can complete the gold coach trade-in set by turning in any 10 gold coach items for a gold collectible pack, which contains one gold collectible item. Similar sets are available for jerseys, logos, arenas, players, and more. All items that are turned in through dynamic sets or the trading post will be removed from your collection, as I just said. So, there's a risk there. You have to risk it. If you want to turn all these guys in for a good item, do it. But you risk, you risk the fact that they're going to be all removed from your collection. Now, as for item imagine, management improvements, a player biography scheme... Uh, player biography screen all core stats and attributes wrist shot power face off stick checking etc aka advanced stats will now be displayed for each player item giving you a complete breakdown of your player's strengths and weaknesses and like i mentioned before for team of the week items all special cards you will see those plus improvements for each specific stat in the advanced stats for the putt player card so um, you'll see exactly what stats that team of the week card is affecting on that player a new unknown item filter will allow you to see items you are missing from your collection. No more restrictions on owning duplicate player items. You can now collect more than one copy of any item and improve consumable item management with duplicate items now stacking in your inventory. That's pretty cool. So instead of just going from one contract to one contract to one contract, you could have a stack of like 20 different contracts or things like that. That's going to be cool. And next up, just some other things for Hockey Ultimate Team. NHL points will be in this year. So like FIFA points, you will now be able to purchase NHL points, which can be used to open packs in Hockey Ultimate Team. NHL points can only be obtained through real-world currency and cannot be earned through in-game rewards, milestones, or achievements. Training items, Hockey Ultimate Team will no longer feature training items. This includes change teams, change positions, captain items, and player boost items. So no more of those cards will be in Hockey Ultimate Team, nor will they be in packs. Non-player items, all non-player items found in packs will be classified as common items. There will no longer be a non-rare player items in HUT. And standard packs, depending on the pack you open, standard packs will either contain 10 or 20 items. And there is just a picture for you guys showing the stats there for the new hut packs. But like I said, guys, let's break down uh, everything else that we saw from the trailer that this blog didn't talk about. But a lot of really cool things that we could see here for Hockey Ultimate Team 
for sure. So first off, let's start by looking over the new hut card designs that uh, we saw yesterday on Twitter. So if you guys weren't on Twitter yesterday, uh, EA was showing us the new looks on the hut card. So we'll start off with the base items. Honestly, I really like the look of the base items with the new, uh, the gold, um, with the they they're, they reflect the hut menus very well. Very clean, very uh, very white as I can say, as you guys can say. I love the f the big logo faded in the background. I think is really really cool, especially with the other logo in front. Obviously, I love the stats going uh, horizontally now instead of vertically on the card in in a little itty bitty space. They made use of the whole entire card this year, which I think is really really cool. Making use of the entire card rather than leaving just a lot of empty space on. I feel like the old hut cards were a little bit cluttered, but these ones, everything seems a lot more spaced out. They look clean, and honestly, they look very, very good. Now, as for the Team of the Week items, the Team of the Week items look really, really cool. They're still keeping the gold and the black theme with them, but I really like the, like the design on them. I love how the gold and the black really mesh well together. Team of the Week items look very, very cool. And then when we get to the Milestones and the Player of the Game items, they are going with the big headshots for both the Player of the Games and the Milestones. For the Milestone cards, they're still keeping that same, like, uh, I ice hockey pond background going with the milestone cards with a little bit of rips and tears on the sides of the cards but it's still pretty nice with like a little brownish gold and tan theme on the cards which is really really cool i love the little uh, gradient or the little uh, brush effect that they put on the card still looks pretty nice as for the player of the game cards they are literally lit they are on fire they went a little bit wild with the uh, flame effects on the player of the game cards but i still think they look pretty cool once again i'm not really concerned about how the cards look how about uh, more concerned about how they play but then the legends the legend cards are absolutely beautiful man the little bit of a gold effect on them with the black and white and the just like the tannish gold reflection off of these cards they look absolutely beautiful the, all the legend cards have action shots they have the signatures of all the legends legends on the cards itself awesome man these are probably the best looking ho hockey ultimate team cards i think i have ever seen in my five or six years of playing an nhl game these are the most gorgeous looking cards i have ever seen once again guys with the ratings ratings are not final but these cards are absolutely beautiful. Now, as we go over just some of the screenshots that I did manage to take from the trailer itself, once again, just going over a few things that we saw from beginning to end that I didn't talk about in the blog posts. All right, so we started off the trailer showing you guys the new Hockey Ultimate Team cards and the new animation. So they're going away from just the one card bursting out again. It looks like they're going back to the normal Hockey Ultimate Team from NHL 15 for when we saw how the Hockey Ultimate Team cards would go where they lay out all in a line and then they explode with the new a little explosion animation so we're not going to be able to see those crazy cards scattering all over in a plane it looks like they're going to be set up in a line once again but still they look pretty cool we see valerie nachushkin right there some of the logos for the international or the world cup of hockey so you can collect those logos in the game obviously arena cards are still going to be in as well and then just a couple of the advanced stats for each of those players once again for Max Pacioretty, Patrice Bergeron, Jacob Voracek, and Mike Camilleri, each showing the synergy that is attached to all those players. It shows the salary, too, for your team, the nationality, the way he shoots, weight, and height. It shows his contract length down at the bottom, his uh, health status, which is cool. The date issue is still player, and it also shows your games played down there at the bottom again. So you can see that the games played will be will continue to stock up on Hockey Ultimate Team cards as well. And funny enough, it actually shows the salary for his in his in real life salary for um for these hut cards, which is actually really interesting that they're going that route. Whatever he's making in real life, that's what his salary is going to be on the hut card. So that's going to be rather interesting to say the least. But I love the new little player bio screen with it still with the logo of the team that he's a part of over uh, as a banner, pretty much as like a YouTube banner, pretty much. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Here are all the synergies, basically a synergy gloss glossary that we saw for all the new synergies for players. So, Dirty Dangler, Passing Playmaker, Wicked Rister, Offensive Juggernaut, Speedsters, I think that one will be 
a little bit overused, giving plus two to acceleration, speed, and agility. Net front, net front presence, face-off master, relentless forecheck, defensive responsible, heavy hitter, one-time efficiency, cycle game, long-range bombers, tape-to-tape, -tape, team wheel, team shot blocking, and it's a trap. So those are pretty much all the like the team synergies and player synergies that you can see. There's I think they said there's a total of like 17 team and player synergies total. So you can obviously mix and match your players uh, respectively. And it also shows you the plus uh, the attribute modifiers for each synergy that you attach to. So you guys can pause the video and see what certain synergies give you what certain boosts obviously Activating this style will give your players with dirty dangling and what's awesome is if you click on the synergy I thought was really awesome It'll show you your players down there who actually has that synergy and who will be getting the plus bonuses down there too Is so if you forget who has what if you just click on it, it'll show your players at the bottom That's pretty pretty awesome There's the new hockey ultimate team hub pretty much for the hub where your collection sets item inbox and synergy glossaries Will be located the marketplace right there off to the right so much more clean and then here is your sets uh, your sets, the sets option where you can go to your trading post to trade in sets. And then the thing right next to it is where you can claim your draft champion rewards. And then obviously they have all the sets for bronze, silver, golds, uh, team of the week sets, I think, and even coin sets for certain cards, which is really, really nice. And then just some of the things that you can trade in for certain sets, like they mentioned in the blog, gold, like logo sets, player, coach trade-ins, jersey trade-ins, arena trade-ins. They'll all be able to um, give you a gold collectible item, which contain uh, like a player or something along those lines. Really, really awesome. I'm really liking the set feature. And it also has a gold quick sell pack. This pack contains one item you can sell for a medium amount of coins. So that's just their unopened packs for like reward packs and things like that. And then there is your new coin bonuses. 4,000 coins bonus in a pack. Pretty, pretty awesome. So guys, that is pretty much it there for the Hockey Ultimate Team trailer review. Really, really awesome stuff. I'm really looking forward to Hockey Ultimate Team this year. It seems like there's going to be so much more to do in HUT this year with creating teams with really specific synergies and obviously collectors so the guys who really like to collect in hockey ultimate team i think this year will definitely be your year because it just seems like they're going to be coming out with not only new items on a weekly basis but they'll be coming out with new thematic sets throughout the year so which are only going to be available for a limited time only so you're going to be able to not only have your chance to when you open packs to get limited items on a weekly or daily or 24 hour basis but you're also going to have the opportunity to turn in your unused cards or cards that you just have sitting around for a while or your newly acquired cards to really get these one-time only items that could actually be really beneficial to your team or could just play like an absolute beast but i'm really looking forward to hockey ultimate team this year and NHL 17, man. Hockey Ultimate Team is going to be one hell of a game mode for sure. But let me know what you guys think about all the news here for Hockey Ultimate Team. Leave it down in the comments section down below, and I'll bring you guys some more NHL 17 news whenever it is released. But leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. I'll see you guys next time.